Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Victoria and this video is going to be an introduction video to the series of collagenosis. First I want to, want to mention a few general things. There are a few unknown things about collagenosis. One of them is their etiology. However, what is known is that women are usually more frequently affected by collagenosis than men. The disease usually is in chronic form and there are relapses and exacerbations. Also, collagenosis are characterized by circulating immune complexes, which makes them to a disease of type 3 hypersensitivity reactions. And there is a specific genetic predisposition to develop collagenosis. About the specific collagenosis, I'm going to talk in the next videos. And the ones I'm going to mention are rheumatic fever, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, panarteritis nodosa, sclerodermia and dermatomyositis. Why exactly those? All those are different diseases in the group of collagenosis and they differ in their location. Rheumatic fever usually affects the heart and the big joints, while rheumatoid arthritis usually affects the small joints. Systemic lupus erythematodus affects the skin with its characteristic butterfly rash and the kidneys. Panarteritis nodosa usually also affects the smaller arteries and sclerodermia usually affects, as the name says, the skin. Rheumatomyositis affects the skin and the muscles. But as I said earlier, more information I will give in the videos to follow. All these different diseases under the group of collagenosis have a similar clinical appearance and they are all characterized by the occurrence of autoantibodies in the blood, which are directed against the nucleus. So they are antinuclear antibodies, abbreviated ANA. So the collagenosis is a group of autoimmune diseases. As I mentioned earlier, they affect the connective tissue and the blood vessels. And in some of the diseases, also the heart, the kidneys, and the muscles, for example. As I also mentioned earlier, there are predisposing factors. Those are different HLA antigens, hormones, that's why also women are affected more frequently, psychological stress, different viruses, and also exposure to the sun. The symptoms are relatively vague, but in general, they're general malaise, fatigue, mild fever, the nose phenomenon, which is a vasoconstriction in the distal end of the fingers, that they appear white, also swollen fingers and hands, muscle and joint pain, rash and weight loss. There are also different possible organ manifestations, which are pericarditis, pulmonary fibrosis, pleuritis, glomerulonephritis, and epilepsy and psychiatric symptoms. More information about the different diseases we will give in the videos to follow. As I said, it was only an introduction video to the group of collagenosis. I hope it was helpful anyways, and I hope we see each other in the next video again. I would be very happy if you would subscribe. Thank you very much.